Hi everybody, today I will show you what will happen if you charge your iPhone 10 with USB cable and put it on top of a wireless charging pad together. Okay now, first of all let's look at the setup. What I have here on the side, we have an iPad adapter that has I got charge as a power meter connected to it and we will use this iPhone cable to connect to the iPhone 10 later and we will use the iPhone 7 here to monitor the power meter status. Similarly, we have a setup on the this side where you can see the same adapter, another adapter, another guard charge but this time we connect the wireless charging pad to this power adapter and we will monitor the power status on this side with Asus Zenfone 2 smartphone. Okay, now let's get started. So, um, if you look at this configuration here, right now on this side, the USB is not connected. So that the power or the current here shows zero, while the voltage is 5.05. .05. And on graph mode, you can see that it's very stable with the current zero. Okay? But on this side, we have the uh, wireless, wireless charging pad. But as you can see, without putting the smartphone on the pad, the charging current will be jumping around from anywhere from 0 ampere uh, to like uh, 0 0.2 ampere. And with graph mode, you can see that there's a zigzag wave from here. Now, this indicates, indicates that the wireless charging pad is trying to, is trying to, de to uh, detect whether you have smartphone putting on top of it. Now let's do it right now and see what will happen if we put a smartphone on top. Okay, this iPhone 10 has a wireless charging capability. Okay, start charging and this iPhone 10 has about 63% of power here right now. And as you can see that the current start ramping up from uh, you know, 0 to uh, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4 ampere. And by the way, this charging pad is a 7.5 watt charging pad. So it, it, will, it will stabilize around 1.5 ampere for the current. So now, as you can see, the waveform start jumping up to the top here. Okay, now this is what will happen if you charge your smartphone, your iPhone 10, with the wireless charging pad only. Now let's move to the other side here. As you can see, the power drop here. Okay, now let's do it this way. Let's uh, charge the smartphone, the iPhone 10, with USB cable. Okay. Again, the, the current starts to run up to about 1.2, 1.3. Um, it will stabilize around 1.2, 1.3 here. Okay. Now, let's do this experiment. Okay, now, the USB cable is connected to the iPhone 10. Let's put it on top of charging pad. Hmm. Okay, you don't see the uh, message coming up to show that uh, it's what is charging. As you can see here, the uh, current uh, on the uh, USB cable charging side is about 1.26. The voltage dropped a little bit to 12.9. That's about 6.3 watts here. While on this side, the wireless charging pad, it's running about 2.2 to uh, 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 ampere. And uh, seems like it's not working here because uh, um, Seems like the USB cable is taking over the, the power charging pad, the po power charging part of it. Now let's do one more thing. What if I disconnect the USB cable here, like this, and let the iPad to be charged by the wireless charging pad. As you can see here, uh, this side is disconnected, so the, the current is zero. Why you can see that uh, on the wireless charging pad side, the current starts to run up to 1.3, 1.2, 1.3, 1 1.4 now. Okay, now let's do one more thing here. Just put the USB cable back and see what happened. So the current starts to drop down to 0 0.2 ampere, and on this side, the current goes up again. So uh, for the conclusion of, of this demo today, we can see that if you have the uh, USB cable connected to the, your iPhone 10 for charging, it will take the precedence over wireless charging. And uh, 
If you have any questions, uh, please leave a message on my YouTube and we will follow up and uh, to see what we can do. Or if you have other videos that we want to see how, how to charge other devices with using Gauge Charge, please let, let, let us know. We'll do some more tests for you. Thank you very much.